Hello and welcome to today's story. My name is Peter and on today's story we're just going to see how we can be able to add this availability uh, availability text that will help us to display the available stock uh, for a particular product. I'm just going to show you how you're going to do it. We're just going to do it using a simple PHP. No plugin will be used uh, except the one we're just going to use for us that to help us to add uh, the PHP code the easy way. So without further ado, let's just get into action and I'll show you how. So the first thing we just need to do, we need to head over to the dashboard and on the dashboard menu, scroll now to where you have the plugin. Uh, select a new because we need to add a new plugin that will just facilitate for us to be able to add the code the easy way. The, code, uh, the plugin is called Code Snippet. It's a free plugin. Uh, you can see it has more than 7,000 active installation from Code Snippet Pro, so we install the plugin. So with that, now after after successful installation, now we act with the plugin. After now successful installation of the plugin, we just need to act with the plugin. So after the plugin now has been activated, all we just need to do is you can use uh, on the on your active plugin uh, dashboard, you can select here for the button for the snippet, or you can hover to the dashboard menu, scroll now to where you have the plug uh, the uh, the snippet. And on Hofa, we have all this option. You can select uh, all snippet if you want to view or deactivate or any snippet that you have, or you can be able to add a new snippet in which I'm going to do it. So here, I'm just going to name it is, uh, I'm just going to give it display availability. So I copy this one here and I paste it as my heading. Then I need to display, uh, to add the code here. I have the code already. So all I just need to do is just click here on the button to copy and I just come here and I paste it like that. Just that all I just need to do is I save the changes. With that now, all I just need, the other thing you just need to do, you need to head over to the product you just want to display uh, the stock. Let me just show, let me just show you a few, uh, few products here so that we can be able to get the difference here. Um, I'm just looking forward to move to the home page. Here I have it. So even when I open some hard sanitizer, you find we don't have uh, the availability of stock here. But when I just head over back here and I open for cheese, you can see even it is displaying here on. You can see it just displaying the available stock for this product and how many are available. And when I just open here on this product, I can be able to even see it is available here on the on the sing, single product page. So what you just need to do if you find it not displaying, all you just need to do is head over to the product uh, products, select the product you just want to display, click edit, and head over to the inventory because you need to set up the inventory. And you can see we have here as 50. And we just that you can also uh, no other thing you just need to set i just need to do here is update the product which just that i just need to do let me just open this a new in a new tab here after now we set uh the available stock you find now it is also this print and if you head over to the home page or archive page you'll be able to see uh the available stock is displayed on the archive when if you have this product on the home page it will just display the available stock for that particular product i hope you didn't learn something out of this tutorial if you didn't learn something out of this tutorial in the thumbs up if you're new here consider subscribing more tutorial on the way thank you till next time